Sanity suddenly reared its ugly head. Uh, I remember, I don't know when they debuted. It was sometime in 19... Well, as a matter of fact, I could probably find out. 1996, <laughs> I'll just flip around. If I could find Tulsa, because we were at Vince McMahon's house, and we were writing uh, television, and that was a Thursday, and I left the next day on Friday to go to uh, Tulsa and Oak City for the house shows, because I believe I was still managing Vader. I can't find it, nevertheless. Uh, the point is, I get to Tulsa, and... <clears throat> uh, some of the guys say, National Hall are coming back? I'm like, what, what are you talking about? Well, it was, I think this was right when the website first went up. You might know this, 97-ish mm -hmm. or late 96-ish. Or some way or another, they'd announced this news on Livewire or some shit that Diesel and Razor are coming back. I said, I was just at the owner of the company's house yesterday. I'm on the creative team. We were writing television. No, I know nothing of this. And suddenly, he's announced to the world... And so all weekend, we're like, what the fuck? And I called, I don't even know if Bruce, Bruce was there. Bruce knew. I talked to Bruce on Sunday, and he said, oh, yeah, we're going to do this. And when I heard the idea, they had suddenly, he'd gotten up that morning and said, I own the rights to Diesel and Razor Ramon, so we're just going to have them. And he got uh, Rick Bogner to, to be Razor Ramon, and he got... Doug, uh, Doug uh, No, uh, Kane, Glenn Jacobs. Glenn Jacobs. To be Diesel... But no, here's, here's the story, even though this is in 1997, you don't mind, do you? No. I said, okay, how are we going to do this? He basically wanted me to teach them how to be Razor Ramon and Diesel. I had to go into the TV studio and have uh, Dave Benoit or one of the guys there make me tape. I said, give me five or six Razor Ramon and five or six Diesel matches so that you know, I can make notes and tell these guys. I watched them at home, wrote down the moves. Nash, that's where I got the line, six moves. I wrote down every move that Kevin Nash did, every idiosyncrasy he did in the ring, and I got to six, and that was with the hair flip. The back elbow, the side knees in the deal, the fucking flipper punch, the fucking hair. Um, side it's slam. Side, side slam. And, and there's something else. It's been 15 years, so... Powerbomb, power bomb, yes. There you go. You find another one, motherfucker. Up That's till 1996, it. you go to one of his matches and find him doing something else. So anyway, mm -hmm. and that's not a knock or a criticism, but it's just, it's a statement. He was very, it was right there. You could list it. And Ramon, Razor Ramon was a little more difficult. So, and we went to the studio, to the uh, ring they had set up before developmental in the warehouse. And... They practiced, the, in Glenn's case, those six moves, and in, in Bogner's case, whatever the fuck. And I, why, I don't understand. I don't know why anybody thought it was a good idea. Well, nobody thought it was a good idea, probably. It's just that nobody could talk Vince out of it, so it was going to happen.